Hi friends, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. Today I'm going to make a meal I have made before, but I had made it when I couldn't taste anything. My husband said it was very good. However, what I did taste, I liked. Um, but of course, there's some things that I am going to want to retry to make now because I can't actually taste things. So bring it down here. And what this is, is actually a Raymond, um, like, not necessarily a stir, Raymond stir-fry type thing. Should add a little bit more water to that. But this is the boiling hot water. And um, it's not going to take hardly no time at all for this to re, um, reconstitute it all. And let's go ahead and flip that too. I'm going to add just a little bit more water. I'm going to put you on pause. I thought I had a lot more water in there than I do. All right, that's probably enough water to go ahead and get that started. And that won't take very long because, like I said, that's actually the boiling hot water from my sink. And that will get boiled really quick. And um, then what I'm going to do is get the other stuff around because I'm actually going to use, because they want you to use um, onions and red and green peppers. However, the only red, green and onion red peppers I have is actually in my freeze-dried stuff. So that would be made as a part of this dinner, and I'll show you on that. All right, I'm going to use some of the freeze-dried. Now, this is just the that package from the dollar store um, that you get that has the onions, red, and green peppers. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Put that in that boiling hot water. And... I think I'm going to have to try to buy some more of that. I think that's going to work out good, but I'll know for sure here in just a little bit. And that yeah, uh, Raymond's already boiling over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this down, get this going here. And I'm going to drain the Raymond, and I will get the other stuff going, and I'll bring it for that. All right, I have the peppers back in here. Put a little bit of oil. Now, I don't usually cook with oil, but this said... To do that with oil and I can't imagine doing that with butter so what I'm gonna do is fry these up a little bit and um, then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna add the hamburger now the hamburger they say obviously you know to cook it but this is already cooked and all I have to do is just add this to it and I did my broccoli it was frozen I wasn't thinking earlier while I was at work so I just put a little bit of that in the hot water and that's now kind of like thought out enough for that. And then what I'm going to do is while this is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get the sauce around for that because the noodles are done. And this will pull together very quickly. All right. So what I'm going to do now is actually make the, the sauce. Now this is a quarter cup of soy sauce. And it's going to be one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Like I said, I just put that in a smaller container. And it's going to be a teaspoon of brown sugar. All right. And then I asked for a couple of teaspoons of sriracha, however. I can't handle hot, spicy stuff, so it's not going to get that much. It's going to get just get a dollop. Um, a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm not going to put a lot of salt because the soy sauce already has enough salt. It did ask for some garlic, and that's over there um, frying in the um, peppers. this turns out like that. All right, take my little whisk thing, get that all whisked in there. Pretty much where you're waiting for that brown sugar to kind of like, I think that's all done in there. So what's going to happen is I'll bring you over to the stove here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put in the hamburger. Just turn that down a little bit more. Like I said, this is the hamburger that I pre-cook up when I first
first get it home from the store and I put it in the Instapot. So this way I can just thaw it out and add it to whatever whatever meal that I'm making without having to stand over the stove and brown burger because I'm not a big fan of that. I'm going to go ahead and add the sauce. And I'm going to go ahead and add the two packs of Raymond noodles. Now I know Raymond obviously is never, ever, ever, ever healthy. <laughs> no matter what you try to do. I mean the Raymond noodles by themselves even just are not the most healthiest thing ever. But, you know, when you try to put all this stuff together a little bit like this, you know, with the vegetables and things like that. Um, I think that would work better. Now, what I probably am I going to do is let's separate some of this noodles here. But um, what I'm going to do is uh, when I go to the dollar store next, I'm going to buy a couple more bags. I'm going to freeze dry some. But I think this would have been really nice to have this actually, um, you know, cooked as a frozen meal so get this mixed a little bit more and get this all really nicely incorporated turn that down even more my husband's already put in uh, I think he said about 62 hours this week and he's not even home yet so he always appreciates having a meal ready to go when he does get home so anyways I gotta mix this up a little bit more but pretty much this is what this is going to look like. Um, like I said, we've had this before. My husband really did like it. But because I couldn't taste it, I couldn't tell you if I really did like it or not. I guess I could take, take a little forkful, huh? I did put, I don't know if I've said I put some garlic in this over here or not. Oh, that's tasty. Excuse me. That's very tasty. So yeah, I mean, this is a good um, one pan meal pretty much. Yeah, I have some bowls I got to clean up and things like that. Um, but like I said, this is not the most healthiest because I said Raymond noodles are not. But I'm sure you could probably make this with like some really small um, spaghetti noodles or, or whatever you wanted to. And I did not use the um, pouches of the stuff. Um, that came with a Raymond noodles. So, um, yeah, this, this will make a really nice dinner. But I think, I think next time, like I said, what I'll do is I'll have some actually frozen in the freezer. So that way, you know, it just all, everything all comes together. And sometimes they add some carrots to this. And um, there's supposed to be some scallions, but I don't have any of those either because it was just a last minute thought. So, anyways, thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you have a very blessed and wonderful night.